Imagine you're at an e-commerce company and you were just alerted to an abnormal drop in purchases for various products. Why is this drop happening? It could be because these products are out of stock, because of a performance issue in your app, network problems, or a variety of other reasons. Manually, it can take hours to days to figure out the cause. However, there is a faster way using machine learning based correlation analysis. Correlation analysis automatically discovers relationships between metrics and events. So when a metric becomes anomalous, all related events and metrics that are also anomalous are grouped together into a single incident. Coming back to our e-commerce example, suppose the drop in purchases is correlated with a spike in payment errors for PayPal. Well, you immediately know to look for issues with your PayPal integration. If it is also correlated to a software release, you'd understand that the issue is in your release and you might roll it back quickly to remediate the problem. But be careful, correlation is not the same as causation. Let's illustrate this. Suppose you're driving down the freeway and the engine temperature warning light turns on and you hear a strange noise coming from your engine. The anomalies are related, but what is the root cause? The noise isn't the cause, and the overheating isn't the cause. They're just symptoms of an underlying problem that can point to the cause. Well, when this happened to me when I was a teenager, it turned out to be an oil leak, and I almost destroyed my parents' car. As this example illustrates, even in day-to-day -day life, we resort to correlations, finding commonalities and relationships between the symptoms so we can find the root cause. But how does this apply to business monitoring? At Anadot, we couple our anomaly detection with automated correlation analysis to get to the root cause of incidents. But what are the main challenges to carrying out correlation analysis? First, discover non-obvious relationships across different areas of the business, breaking down silos. It's important to recognize that an incident and its symptoms may manifest in different areas of your business. Correlating them is critical for understanding the root cause. Let's illustrate this with a real example from a telco company. We recently alerted a knock for a tier one telco that their roaming customers in Southeast Asia were using far less data than usual. This alone could be caused by a wide range of reasons. Our system correlated the anomaly with an increase in DNS failures, which pointed to an issue with a DNS server, preventing some roaming customers from connecting to the network. The relationship between the two metrics is not an obvious one, since the DNS metric is measured in a completely different area of the network. Without correlating the two, the NOC would have had a hard time understanding that the roaming incident was caused by the DNS server, prolonging customers' connection issues while traveling. At Anadot, we invented an algorithm which we called abnormal correlations. It groups metrics across silos based on whether they behave abnormally at similar times. Without going into the details of it, the intuition is that if two metrics are affected by a common cause, then we should be able to see that repeat itself over time. The second challenge in correlation analysis is scaling to millions and billions of metrics. Anadot system uses a technique called locality sensitive hashing to scale up our correlation techniques. LSH is an algorithmic method of hashing similar input items into the same buckets with high probability. It speeds up clustering and nearest neighbor search techniques in machine learning. You see LSH being used in image and video search and in other areas where you need to search across massive amounts of data. A third challenge is to keep your system from correlating metrics that aren't actually related, basically spurious correlations. We find that common techniques for correlation analysis, such as linear or Pearson correlation, produce a lot of spurious correlation and should be avoided for purposes of root cause investigation. For example, suppose a gaming company has multiple games in the market. The normal pattern of metrics measuring each game's performance is driven by the gamers. Linear correlation would discover that they are very much related. But an incident in one game is often not related to an incident in the other making it a spurious correlation. To summarize, while correlating anomalies involves a lot of complexities, it's critical to businesses for fixing incidents quickly. For more information, check out our correlation analysis series at anadot.com. Thank you.